Hey everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful drop down menu only with CSS. I got many requests to make a simple drop down menu only with CSS. So, let's get started and see how to make this. I'm going to open the VJ Studio Code editor and inside it I have here an empty folder. Inside that empty folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name this file index.html. Just out of that, I'm going to make style.css as well to add styling to this index.html. So I'm going to make style.css here inside this index.html. I'm going to add a simple HTML5 snippet and I'm going to name the title, drop down. Then after this title, right down here, I'm going to link my style.css file, something like this. And in the body here, I'm going to first add a header. And inside this header, we have a navigation menu. So I'm going to add here a nav tag with the ID now, something like this. Let me just add here a simple h1 heading tag and I'm going to specify here navigation. Save the changes and let me open this file in the live server. So I'm going to right click here and say open with live server. This is going to open a new tab in your browser and you will have your index.html in the live server. Now just out of that, in the finished website, I'm going to center this navigation menu, add a background color. Inside this navigation menu, I'm going to add the input text box. Then we have different drop down menus. So let's see how to add it. So I'm going to simply first add this font family in this project. To add font family, as you know, I'm simply going to head on to Google font. And once I open the Google font website, right from here, I'm going to select the Poppins font. This one. I'm going to select the regular style, regular 400. And I'm going to import this link in the style.css right up here something like this and then i'm going to specify this font family to all the descendant html element so i'm going to say here star descendant star means select all the descendant element and then i'm going to specify this font family here now when i save the changes you can see i'm going to have this font family to this navigation menu along with that we're also going to use icons in this project so i'm going to just back and click on the icons here and from this icon, I'm going to click on this Git repository and then I'm going to simply going to copy this link and paste that in the head section of this website. So in the index.html here at the top, I'm going to paste this link so I can use different icons in this project. Now, once I've done that, just close these tabs because we are not using it. And then I'm going to save this index.html, save the style.css and in the index.html just down here, get rid of this h1 heading tag. And here I'm going to simply add a UL tag and inside it, I'm going to add li tag. To this li, let me first specify class, which is link. So we can specify different styling to this li tag. And then I'm going to add here a span tag to add icons in this project. As you know, to add icons in this project, we are using material icons. So inside this span tag right here, I'm going to add a class and say material icons. Just out of that, I'm going to add here material icons outline and then inside this span tag here i'm going to add the icon which i want to import in this navigation i want to import search icon so i'm going to say here search so when i save the changes you can see i'm going to have this search icon in this project now once we have this search icon just down here just out of this span tag right down here i'm going to add input tag of the type text and i'm going to add a placeholder here which is going to be search location by keyword. That's upon you, you can specify any placeholder here. Just for that, once you have the input text box, just out of this li, right down here, I'm gonna add another li with the class link. And inside this link, I'm going to simply add this all jobs, this country, and this login drop down menu. So I'm gonna just create here a division tag with the class drop down and inside this div i'm going to create a button so when we click on the button i want to drop down all the list so inside this button i'm going to add text all jobs and then i'm going to add here a spawn tag inside the spawn tag i'm going to have my icon so i'm going to copy this spawn tag right from here and specify that here and instead of search i'm going to change the name and this time i'm going to simply specify keyword arrow down so this is going to add this icon inside this button 
so now once you have this button just down here just after this button right inside this division tag i'm going to add info grid inside this info grid i'm going to add a content of this button means i'm going to add a content for this drop down menu so inside this info grid let me first add h3 heading tag and specify here class title and i'm going to specify here type of job so this is the title of this content and then i'm going to add here flex the class and then i'm going to add anchor tag something like this with text full time and part time that's it let me add styling to this section and show you the result so i'm going to back to style.css right down here let me first add a root and then create different variables here so let me create my first variable i'm going to specify color dark and to this color dark variable i'm going to specify this hex value so using this variable i can access this color value so let me create few more variables here inside this root something like this don't worry you can download this complete project from the link provided in the description you can copy all the code from the project just down here just out of this root i'm going to select the header first the header tag i'm going to specify here display flex and justify content center let me save this so this will center all the content just out of that i'm going to select my nav as you know i have nav id to this navigation menu so i'm going to select that and just down here i'm going to first add some padding to it padding is going to be 1 em to the top and bottom and 3 em to the left and right then i'm going to add here background color and i'm going to use here where function to access my variables so i'm going to add here pg color variable something like this then i'm going to add border radius which is going to be 50 pixel and margin top 10 em that will add some top margin to this section just after that i'm going to select the ul tag as you know we have this ul tag here i'm going to select this ul tag and then i'm going to specify list style type none i'm going to remove these dots using this property something like this then specify display flex and gap to em that will add some space between this flex item and then at the end i'm going to remove padding from the ul tag just out of that just out of this ul i'm going to select all the anchor tags and first remove all the text decoration property so i'm going to select text decoration none so whenever i have anchor tag in my project i don't want to add any border to the anchor tag so i'm going to use this text decoration to remove border from the anchor tag just down here i'm simply going to select now and select all the link means select all the li tags these ones i'm going to first specify display flex and just out of that i'm going to specify align self center so this will center all the items and then i'm going to specify here position relative save the changes once i specify properties to this link tag let me select my buttons this one so i have this button inside this drop down so i'm going to select this drop down so i'm going to first select now then select link and inside this i have drop down and inside this drop down i have descendant button so i'm going to select the button as you know to this button i don't have this button class this one so let me just add here a class call button just out of that here i'm going to specify display flex border none i'm going to remove the border from this button and i save the changes you can see then i'm going to specify here cursor pointer color color is going to be color dark so i'm going to use here my variable color dark and then i'm going to specify font size 0.9 em and background is going to be transparent i'm going to remove the background from this button something like this just out of that just down here i'm simply going to select the nav again then select the link and inside that 
I have drop down and inside this drop down I'm going to select my button and create hover effect on it so I'm gonna add here pseudo selector hover and then specify here color var function and call color link variable so whenever you hover on this anchor tag you'll get this variable color to this anchor tag you can notice now what I want when I click on this anchor tag I want to add this color to this anchor tag so I'm gonna copy this selector paste it up here don't forget to add here a comma and instead of hover I'm going to select focus so when we click on this anchor tag I want to add this color to this anchor tag just like that let me select this info grade and then specify some style to it so let me just add here a comment and say info grade style so I'm gonna first select this now then select the link tag and inside that as you know we have drop down and inside this drop down I have info grid I'm simply going to select this info grid class and then specify here background and I'm gonna call here a function where and select PG color secondary variable just out of that I'm gonna specify padding to it padding is going to be 1 em to the top and bottom and 2 em to the left and right save the changes then I'm gonna add a border radius which is going to be 5 pixel and position absolute just for that I'm gonna add here left which is going to be 0 then specify width which is going to be auto and then I'm gonna add white space no wrap when I save the changes you can see this will no wrap all this content just for that I'm gonna copy this info grid right from here specify that just down here and then select the flex as you know inside this info grid I have this flex class I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna specify here display flex flex direction column then I'm gonna specify text align center so this will center all the content and then gap is going to be 1 em so this will add a gap between all this flex item and then I'm gonna simply select the title this title so I'm gonna select here now info grid and inside this info grid I have my title class so I'm gonna select the title class something like this and then specify color here color is going to be color dark just for that let me specify some styling to this anchor tags so I'm gonna simply select this info grid specify that here and inside that we have flex and all the anchor tags I'm gonna select all the anchor tags inside flex box and then I'm gonna specify here color which is going to be color dark and font size is going to be 0.9 em just for that let me specify style to this input text box so I'm gonna simply first select the nav then select the link and inside that we have input tag so I'm gonna first remove the border so border is going to be none background is going to be transparent and padding so I'm gonna add here padding 0.7 em to the top 2 em to the right 7 em to the bottom and 0.5 em to the left side just for that let me specify here width width is going to be 300 pixel after that I'm going to specify some color to it color is going to be color dark just for that let me just align this icon properly so let me select now tag again select the link and then inside that we have a span tag with the class search now as you know I don't have this search class to this span tag if I open the index.html scroll up you can notice to this span tag I don't have this search class so let me add that here search save the changes back to the style.css and here I'm going to specify margin top 8 pixel along with that let me specify color to it color is going to be color secondary dark save the changes and you will have the result something like this just out of that let me back to the index.html and create few more drop down menus here so I'm gonna copy this li tag just paste it down here and this time instead of all jobs I'm gonna specify here country then I'm gonna change this content here I'm gonna specify location save the changes so you can see we have the second drop down menu here 
and then I'm going to change this content of this anchor tag. I'm going to say here USA, India, Japan, and China. Save the changes. So this will add all this content inside this second drop down menu. So now once we have the second drop down menu inside this navigation, let me add one more. Let me copy this, paste it down here, and I'm going to get rid of this grade info because to the last drop down menu, I don't have any data. Something like this. Instead of country, I'm going to specify here login. Now, what I want, I want to add this animation to this drop down menu. So, to add this animation to this drop down menu, to this data, I'm simply going to back to my style.css, scroll up, and you can notice here to this info grid, I'm going to add here a property called opacity which is going to be zero so i'm going to hide both this division tag when i say the changes and then when i click on this all jobs or country i want to display both that division tags so at the top i'm going to simply first select the now then select the link and inside this link i have drop down and inside this drop down i'm going to select the descendant button and i'm going to create focus event on it so i'm going to add here focus and when we focus on these buttons i want to select this info grid so i'm going to add here plus info grid means i want to select the descendant info grid of this drop down and to this info grid i'm going to specify opacity one save the changes and now when i click on this all jobs you can see i'm going to have my drop down content now when I click anywhere else, this will hide this division tag because we have this focus event to this button. Just for that, I want to add some animation to this division tags. So to this info grid right down here, let me first specify transform translate y 50 pixel. Now let me first show you the division tags. And when I click on this button, I'm going to simply copy this property specify that here and remove this 50 pixel spacing just like this let me just specify opacity 0 here save the changes and now when I click on this button I'm not gonna get any effect here because we need to add transition property to see that effect so let me add that so inside this info grid right down here I'm simply going to add transition which is going to be on transform property so I'm going to select this transform, then specify here 200 millisecond is in out. Along with that, I'm going to specify here comma, select the opacity, this opacity property, specify that here. And to this opacity, I'm going to add 100 millisecond is in out. Let me save the changes. And now let me click on this all jobs. You can see. I'm going to have this beautiful animation to this drop down menu. So I hope you understand how you can make your own drop down menu only with CSS. If you find anything useful, don't forget to press the like button, share this video with your friends. That is all for now. I will see you in the next one.